Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. It's Lavender here, and today I am finally back with another episode of the Animal Science Files series. I decided to do this video because I've been wanting to do this for so long, th this type of like Animal Science Files videos, because I actually enjoy making them. But I have so many video ideas I want to get done that it just doesn't seem like I have time to do this, but I have time now, so I really wanted to cover this you know, topic because I've been wanting to cover it. So today I am doing the Animal Science Files series. The Animal Science Files Spinosaurus is a stork. Monkey Dactyl Facts. And T-Rex has gone wild. So let's get started into this science episode. So let's f first start off with the headlines of the Spinosaurus that was in the news. Spinosaurus was a stork-like dinosaur that lived in North Africa 100 million years ago fed by snatching fish from the shoreline like storks do today. Spinosaurus was one of the largest carnivor carnivorous dinosaurs reaching up to 49 feet in length. It lived in the late Cretaceous era period 99 to 93.5 million years ago and lived in what is now northern Africa. It was first discovered by paleontologists in 1915. The ecology and biology of the massive carnivores beast has puzzled researchers and scientists for decades. Previous theories suggested they actively hunted prey by swimming in the sea like crocodiles, but British and American researchers and scientists now believe it was more stork or heron-like rather than crocodile-like in their like feeding behavior. It would have have remained mainly on the shoreline eating fish and small land prey, kind of like birds do nowadays, because, you know, most of the dinosaurs you see are birds. Giant carnivorous dinosaur Spinosaurus snatched fish from the shoreline while also hunting for small prey on land as well, according to a new scientific study into its behavior. Previous theories on Spinosaurus, since, you know, the dinosaurs aren't around anymore, suggested that the 49-foot Feet Beast lived 100 million years ago, was a largely aquatic predator that hunted and used its long tail to swim in pursuit of fish in the water, kind of like caimans do. According to some studies suggesting it was more actively chasing fish in water, you know, he said, but while they could swim, they would have not been fast or efficient enough to do this effectively. You know, suggesting that they weren't really that much of aquatic creatures. They're more like a stork on land. They're hunting and walking in the water for, you know, catching food. The findings suggest that the wading idea is much more supported factually. Spinosaurus is a weird dinosaur to investigate, knowing that it died millions of years ago, and you can't study its behavior now, as in because it's there's not a live animal to, you know, get facts from. Trying to understand its ecologically will always be difficult. Spinosaurus was already shown to be in a less efficient swimmer than a crocodile, but also has fewer tail muscles than a crocodile. And due to its huge size, even bigger than a crocodile, it would have a lot more drag in the water. So they don't think that it would be like fast like a caiman, that it's more like a bird on land that's hunting in the water type of vibe. Thoughts on its feeding behaviors vary, with some studies suggesting it was an active aquatic predator chasing fish in the sea. Other studies claim it was heron-like on the shoreline feeder, grabbing fish and small land prey without venturing out to sea to actively pursue, pursue fish. I agree with the bird one. I feel like that makes more sense because it just makes more sense, honestly. It's a huge fucking bird. I mean, that much weight? You can't really, you know, go fast like a caiman. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. And on to uh, T-Rexes. You know, researchers have now found a first and unveiled the first calculation of the total T-Rex population during the estimated 2.4 million years that this fearsome predator species inhabited northern North America and western North America during the twilight age of the dinosaurs era. They considered factors including the size of its geographical range, its body mass, growth pattern, the age of sexual maturity, life expectancy, duration of a single generation, and the total time that the T-Rex existed before extinction 66 million years ago. They also had a doctrine called Dumas Law, linking population to body mass, the bigger the animal, the fewer the individuals at one time. The, an the analysis put the total number of T-Rexes that ever existed on the Earth to about 2.5 billion, including approximately 20,000 adults, t adult T-Rexes living at, w at one time, that were alive at one time. The new study put the weight of the average 
adult T-Rex at 5.2 tons and the average lifespan at 28 years because again a T-Rex is just a giant chicken that eats meat basically and it's a bird so it's not going to have that long of a lifespan basically. It's just true. I mean it literally is true. On to the monkey dactyl dinosaur from the Jurassic period, maybe the earliest known animal that could touch the insides of its thumbs to the insides of its other fingers. This probably allowed them to climb trees about 160 million years ago, perhaps to feed on insects in the area and its ecosystem and other prey that non-climbing dinosaurs did not, you know, hunt at that time. Their fossilized remains were unearthed in northern China in 2019 and are embedded in rock. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to link all my credit in the description down below. So bye guys, see you next video.